Hello, I'm Candace McKinnon. And I'm Brittany Jordan. And today we're going to show you our discrepant event called the floating egg. Here is what you will need. Salt, food coloring, three eggs, a spoon, three clear glasses, bottled water, and tap water. Now the purpose of today's floating egg, egg experiment is to determine how the density of water can affect an object causing it to float or sink. Alright, for our first event, we will have just regular tap water in a cup. Now, assume that all students have already weighed the weight of the cup with just water by itself as well as the weight of an egg. So give students an opportunity to do both so they know you have an idea of the difference. So, we want to see if the eggs will sink or float. And given, let's put it on in and see what happens. What do you know? Who is correct? The egg sunk to the bottom, as you can see down here below. The egg is at the bottom. Why do you think it's at the bottom? Why do you think it's sunk? Earlier we talked about density. More dense means it weighed more. The matter inside made it weigh more than the water. So it went down to the bottom. So next we'll have glass number two. And I'm going to add tap water to this. I'm also going to add four teaspoons of salt. Now that I have my salt inside my water, I'm going to stir it up to make sure that the salt dissolves. Now that I have my salt water stirred up, here is my second egg. What do you think will happen when I drop my egg into the water? Okay, let's see what happens. Remember now, this is salt water. So what happened to our egg? That's right, the egg is floating. And the egg is floating, why? Our egg is floating because it is less dense than the water. So now it's floating to the top. Now for our third glass, we're going to add some more tap water, only about halfway. I'm going to add four tablespoons of salt again. While she's doing that, do you think if I try to force the egg down, it would stay down in the salt water? Let's see. Now that I have my salt in my water, I'm going to stir it up just like I did with glass two. So we know, just like glass two, if there's salt water, the egg is going to float. However, we're going to try something else. Here I have bottled water. I'm going to take this food coloring and I'm going to add about five drops into the water. I'm going to put the top back on. I'm going to shake it up a little bit just so the food coloring can go all throughout the water. You want to make sure that the top is on securely. Now I want to take this water and my egg and I'm going to place my egg inside. Notice how the egg is still floating because it's only salt water. What do you think will happen when I pour this water and mix it with this water, the tap water? 
Let's try it and see. As you can see, where is the egg? Yes, the egg is in the middle. Why do you think the egg is in the middle? The egg is in the middle because the salt water and the bottled water have now met and mixed, which caused the egg to be in the middle. It's no longer less dense and it's no longer more dense than the water. So therefore, it has landed in the middle. So, think further. Push your inquiry. Let's change some of the events that we did. And what do you think would happen if, if you tried this at home with an adult? What would happen if we heated the water? The tap water, the salt, and the salt water, but not the bottled water. How would heat make a difference? in the position of the egg. Would it or would it be the same? What if we use rock salt versus table salt or sea salt? Would it be a difference on the position of the egg? Why don't you try at home to find out how these factors, if they were different than what we did here, it would change or not change the results. Be sure to let us know what you find. Remember always clean up your area, be careful, and always having the responsible adult present. Thank you for joining us for our discrepant event. Bye.